Hello and welcome to Raspberry Crafts, my YouTube channel where I share all my crafty adventures. Today is October the 21st, 2022. My name is Roz and I'm coming to you from Lake Country, British Columbia, Canada, where I live with my husband and my two kids who are 12 and 10. I'd like to say welcome to any new subscribers and welcome back to you returning subscribers. Today for you, I have What Am I Wearing, Works in Progress, Next on My Needles, Stash, and some chatter. Let's get started. What am I wearing? Today is a gloriously fall day. Uh, it was pouring rain this morning. It was just kind of sprinkling this afternoon. It hasn't gone above 10 degrees all day. Uh, it is a lovely fall day around here and it is very welcome. Normally I'm like, ugh, whatever, rain. I can't go walking in the rain. I don't like it. It's just, it gets in my eyes and I don't like it. So <laughs> if it's kind of misty, it's okay. It's like the, the drops anyway. <laughs> Um, and I grew up in Vancouver, so I am used to the rain, but there you go. Uh, but today was lovely, so I put on a wool sweater, uh, and I have wool socks on. My husband has wool socks on. Uh, it has been lovely. Um, if you've paid attention to any of the BC news, you will know that there are still forest fires and a uh, very large smoke cloud kind of hung out in the valley here. Uh, we had an air quality warning for the past week or so, so that's been super fun. But hopefully this rain that is supposed to last all weekend will help the forest fires and then we won't have so much smoke. We might have a little bit more smoke and then then it'll be out. But because when you put water on a fire, it smokes more. But anyway, it doesn't usually it just kind of goes up at that point. It doesn't usually blow all over the place like it is now. Anyway. That's a very long winded way of saying that I am wearing a wool sweater today. Um, so this is my Miranda by Jose Pequin and I knit this in 2017, I think 2016, I don't know, a while ago. Um, it is a little bit snug on me, but that's okay. I usually wear it um, as an under layer piece, like if we're going out in the really cold, um, but also it is short sleeve, so it's more like a vest. So it is perfect for weather like today where you just need warmth on your core just to kind of keep that temperature. Um, and then I've got my long underwear underneath because that's how I roll, uh, which is also wool by the way, but I didn't knit it. And, um, and then on my feet, oh, and the yarn, um, was in a land.com yarn. It's the Highland wool. It's just like hundred percent wool, very wooly wool. Um, and uh, yeah, in dark blue, I think the color is. So, you know, it's dark blue. Um, and then on my feet, I am wearing uh, the Jelly Roll socks and I can't remember who they're by and I didn't write it down. Um, and I don't remember what the yarn is either. I wanna say it's Koigu, no, not Koigu. You know what? I will have it all linked down below and I'll probably have put something across the screen with those details <laughs> because I can't remember. Um, but yeah, shorty socks and some nice leggings and my wool short sleeve sweater is the perfect temperature. When I went out for my walk, I threw my Gore-Tex on over top and uh, some little mitts and I was just perfect. Um, so yeah, my show notes are over here again today. They're up higher. So hopefully I'm not like looking down so much, but we will see, we will see what happens. Let's move on to works in progress. For my first work in progress today, I do have my Hinterland sweater. This is the Hinterland by Jennifer Steinglass. It is a top down color work sweater uh, that I will keep talking about until I finish it. Does it look any different than last week? I have yarn wound. <laughs> did I cast, did I put this on yet? No, no, I did not. But I did wind yarn 
and um, yeah my secret knitting project has taken up most of my knitting time because it's on a on a deadline knitting so um, you'll have to wait to hear about that one later but there's my hinterland the yarn is cascade 220 and they're fingering weight in dark plum and buff um, so yeah quick update on that one uh, next up Oh yeah, these are Mike's socks. Uh, I knit a little bit on these, to be honest. I put my markers in to count rows and stuff. Um, and, um, but yeah, not much. My secret knitting has been taking up most of my knitting time. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a common theme for today. Um, yeah, so these are the Vanilla Reversed Socks by Annie Fletcher. Um, so it's a toe-up pattern, clearly. I always knit his socks two at a time and go all the way as close to the end of the ball as I can manage. I do a three by one ribbing on the top of the foot and then the entire leg will be three by one ribbing as well. Um, oh yeah, and the yarn is uh, Rico Designs in their Superba print. So yeah, he picked this out and uh, yeah, I just need to I just need to keep working on them a bit a bit more before the heel but there are those one project i have had a chance to work on is my muscleboro hat i feel like i'm rocketing through these but there just isn't much to report on either of those but my muscleboro i have made some progress on it um i'm not quite at the point to do the decreases yet um but i am uh yeah still loving it um, this is my take along project so whenever I'm in the car or waiting for kids at something or another um, I have this project with me and um, yeah I did another another set of repeats at, at Cooper's volleyball game and you know just just keep working away on it uh, so this pattern is Muscleboro by Yasolda Teague and it is it's a hat um, it might look a little funny but it you knit like this big kind of oval shape and then you tuck one end inside the other and then you have a hat uh, and so it's double thick and you can fold the brim up so you get four layers around your ears um, yeah and you can knit it in any weight you want she has numbers on how to figure out all of that information um, and uh, this is my third third one yeah third one so i did a worsted weight one and another fingering weight one and then this one um, yeah and this is knit picks felici uh, sock in the ice cream truck colorway <laughs> so yeah working along on that one um, and that is it for works in progress other than my secret knitting which I'm not going to talk about <laughs> so let's move on to next on my needles So the first thing that I want to talk about is actually a finished object um, that I am going to rip out and finish again. So this is going to be on my needles very shortly. <laughs> um, this, and I'll hold it up so you can see the whole thing, is my driftwood sweater. So I love this sweater. I love the length of the body. I like the neckline. Um, it was supposed to have buttons on it but um, I just sewed it closed instead of doing buttons. Um, so, so yeah, it just is what it is. Um, I do have, I just washed it because I've been wearing it all week. I noticed there's a few places where there's some random ends sticking out and a bit of pilling that needs to be dealt with. So I brought it down to the craft room and the, uh, just to kind of, you know, touch it up, keep it in good shape. However, the one thing that I don't like about this pattern, um, which is no fault of the pattern, is that I knit the sleeves too long. And um, the cuff, the, the whole sleeve is very loose. There are some decreases, but not a lot. And the cuff is not that long. And um, so it ends up falling down on my hands. And then anytime I'm trying to do something with my hands, such as make dinner, it becomes a problem and then, then I roll up the sleeves or push up the sleeves and then so and I just I just wear it with rolled up sleeves all the time so and then you see 
the like float on the inside hanging out there. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to unpick the cast off and I'm going to pull it back, I think to this purple line. Maybe I should try it on again and take a look. And then I'm just gonna use gray and knit a couple inches of um, two by two ribbing, same as this, because that's what the bottom is. So I'll do two by two ribbing. Um, I'm gonna go down a needle size and I might even decrease a little bit too, just to have, because the ribbing will be stretchy. So just to have that kind of more tighter fit to my wrist. Um, so then I'm able to just kind of wear the sweater. It goes to the right spot and it's a little tighter so it doesn't kind of fall around. Um, this yarn is a Knit Picks Mighty Stitch, which is a mostly acrylic yarn. Um, and uh, I do, it's so soft, you guys. For an acrylic yarn, it was lovely to work with. This is the same yarn that I knit my r, &R hoodie out of. Um, in fact, that it's in this purple colorway, um, which I don't remember the name of, but I'm sure I'll put all the details in. Um, so yeah, I have I have my needle at the ready, ready to go. Um, I'll probably do both sleeves at the same time. I'll pick up the stitches and then unpick everything. And I do have about a third of a ball of the gray left. So if I do need a little bit more than what is in this, um, you know, I have that option. And I'll tuck in all the ends that are sticking out and then this will be ready to wear again. Um, yeah, and the other thing is um, an upcoming event-ish, I guess you could call it. So there is, uh, <laughs> it's partly events, partly next on my needles. I have been talking for a long time about casting on the Ease sweater. And I have my swatch. It is blocked. I think I've shown it before. Um, so yeah, I've knit the swatch. I have all the yarn. I know what needle size I want to do. I know what size of the pattern. I have it in my knit companion, all highlighted and ready to go. And I've just been so focused on other things. So once my secret knitting is done, um, I can work on some of these things and get them done. And I think for the month of November, I'm going to try and knit a sweater in a month. And it is called Nana, Nana Suevo maybe something like that I will put it here so it's based off of and I think I've probably talked about this in other years um, national write a novel in a month and so this is national knit a sweater in a month and it's from the US but it's just a, a nice hashtag to use and there's lots of people that do it every November they knit a sweater or write a novel in a month so um, I think that would be a really fun challenge for me. It would fit into the pigskin party so I could get points for that sweater. And also it would give me another sweater to wear this winter. So um, yeah, I, all those are all excellent things that I am looking forward to. And um, yeah, so that's the Ease sweater. And this is um, some Patton's Classic wool. And um, is there a dark marl gray? So it is definitely like a dark gray and a white in the in the yarn, um, yeah. But uh, it's it's just and it's just wool. It is just wool and it is delightful. Um, so yeah, I have the needles ready for that. My swatch is ready. Everything's ready. Um, so we will see if I decide to wait for November first. I mean, it's the twenty first today, so it's not that long away. It's like a week a week and a couple days away. So, you know, I've got lots of other projects to keep me busy until then. So, you know, that'd be a good challenge for me. Um, yeah, so that is it for next on my needles and we'll move on to stash. <music> For stash, I have my October colorway from the Fireweed Fiberco Star Trek Monthly Sock Club. And um, I haven't opened it yet. I received it in the mail yesterday. And as much as I wanted to open it, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna record tomorrow. So I am going to wait. Oh, wow. So this is Fireweed Fiberco, 
and um, this is I get the sweet pea sock set which is a, a 100 gram skein and a 20 gram skein and they are 80% superwash merino and 20% nylon um, this is the October colorway and it's called I am the Borg and um, yeah yeah so so right oh so yeah that is like, how does she do that? How does she get such a vibrant green right next to a dark black? Like that is a black black. That is not like a charcoal. I mean, obviously there's some pieces that are a bit more like light gray and whatnot, but how does she get that green? Do you see that green? I wonder if it's coming out on camera right next to the black. Like that is just amazing. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So yeah, you should check her out. She has a few, as of yesterday, she had a few advent calendars left if you're still in the, in the market for an advent calendar. And, um, and I'm sure she will come up with a monthly sock club for next year as well, which you know, I might just have to continue to get because this is too much fun. So I do have November and December. I'm pointing up because they're up on my shelf up here. They're in their little brown bag and I won't open them until the appropriate time, but I do have the ones for the rest of the year. So that is super fun. And um, yeah, um, I think that's it for stash and we will move on to chatter. For chatter today, I don't have much that's happened in the last two weeks. It's been kind of just a regular couple of weeks. Um, the kids have been at school, I've been at work. Um, we did have Canadian Thanksgiving, which is always just a very relaxed, fun time. We got an extra day off of work. The kids had a pro day on the Friday. So, you know, there was, there was lots of just hanging around at home. Um, we did some walking uh, in, out in the, we did some walking and, you know, just kind of hanging around at home. It was pretty chill. And then we had some family over and some friends over for Thanksgiving dinner. My husband made a brisket. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Um, yeah, so that's kind of all that's been happening around here. And um, other than I cut off all my hair, not all of it, but I cut off a lot of hair. Uh, I think it was more than six inches that I cut off. So, um, so yeah, I am, I am, uh, I was pretty shocked at the time. It was a little shorter than what I had asked the hairdresser for. Um, but I'm liking it because I just wake up and go and I can have my hair down. It's not getting in the way of everything. Um, I can still put it up in a ponytail, which was my one request. So I can still put it up in a ponytail if I need to, or, or a half, half, you know, kind of thing. I can kind of, I can wear it like to this side or to this side or just in the middle. Um, you know, and I think that it's, it's happier and healthier and I am happy. The only thing I've noticed, and it's been over a week now, is that my hair is getting greasier sooner. So I used to wash my hair every four to five days. And now by the third day, I'm kind of like, oh, I need to wash my hair. So that, you know, small price to pay for hair that is much more manageable. And when I wash it, it doesn't take two hours to dry. So there's also that. <laughs> um, the, and the only other thing that I could think of that's been going on is that I have been walking almost every day. Um, so I walk every day during the week, either at lunchtime or um, if I can't at lunch, then I schedule to do it in the morning or after work. And, um, and it's been lovely because it's been hot. So that's been nice. And uh, yeah, just making sure I get out for some walks. There's been some really beautiful clouds because it's been like high cloud and then the sun sets and just really, really cool colors and um, yeah, not stormy or anything, but just, you know, really nice sunsets. Um, leaves are changing, which is beautiful. So I'll put some of those pictures in at the end. Um, and the last thing to talk about is what books I finished over the last couple weeks. And the first one is The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. Um, that one is uh, was a fun read. 
um, and uh, it was recommended by a friend and um, it is a male male romance but there's like most of it is about the world and the journey that this person goes on um, it's not much about his romance and it's just it's very wholesome it's not there's not anything you know it's not not a it's not a romantic story it's a you know it's a it's dramatic story about you know him realizing things in his life it's not not there and yes there are some romantic things in it but um you know it wasn't it wasn't about the romance so um yeah so that was a really fun read um and i um i can't wait for another one in that series because it was super fun and the other one it was an audiobook that i listened to called my american duchess there is more romance in that one and definitely that is not a family friendly book and um uh yeah but it was good it was good it was a very light read um and it's one of those kind of you know romance stories where you know you knew that everything was gonna you know that everything's gonna end well in the end so you know you're just wondering how they get there um but the, their pathway becomes pretty clear there's a couple little you know things that you don't expect but you know you knew it was all going to end well and and there's you know no dire circumstances it's just all, all very light and fluffy um and uh yeah so that was really uh really enjoyable read it's the writing style i would say was it would be similar to the julia quinn books which is the bridgerton series and the other series she's written so along that kind of lines you know historical period piece but um yeah it was super fun and uh yeah i think i'm gonna sign off there for the day sorry this one is so short um but i will see you in a couple weeks hopefully with more knitting content or maybe some other fun content who knows we'll see you next time bye <music>